Okay, I had a prawn bait out there and then in front of us came uh, Mr. Octopus and some of the best baits for stumpies and edible fish. Um, he just cut a few tentacles off. You know, obviously maximum four, give the guy a fighting chance because um, they grow back. Instead of killing the whole octopus, you cut, I cut four legs off, it's two and two in my bucket. And uh, fresh, fresh, fresh. I'm going to quickly show you how I'm going to use this. It's a small octopus, not very big, as you can see. But you cut the legs off, not all the way to the top. Obviously a big one would be nice. And then you have to cut the suckers off. You can see it's still alive, eh? <laughs> it's not easy to clean. You can use sand after you've cut this off. You can use the sand to, to get the skin off. Now the way I fish these tentacles is I beat them with a chocker hammer into a pulp like you would do a blob bait. And I leave the little uh, tentacle in the bottom just as it is. Okay. Now the skin you can now basically get together and remove that as well as not easy to clean but boy is it worth it it's one of the most underestimated baits it will catch almost anything hammer heads if you're fishing for sharks a lovely bait um, your eagle rays your duck balls your edible fish Stumpies love them. I don't think there's fish that will leave it alone, a fresh octopus leg. And obviously they're famous for the bigger cob and even your smaller cob. Depends on the size of the bait, how big you're going to make the bait. So that one, I'm not going to spin, I want to get in the water. So let's get this one done. I'm going to cut the cameraman's uh, leg off. I want to get this, I'll plant it. Uh, in the rod pipe here and I'll carry on scratching for the bream that side but I want this bait what's nice about an octopus leg is you can leave it the pickers don't get it all nearly as easy as any other bait so it stays in the water much longer for for some of these spots where there's a lot of edible pickers in the water that that steals your bait you have to change your bait regularly a bait like this is by far probably your best choice you put it out and if a kingy or a stumpy or anything swims past it, boy, they swallow this properly. It's like uh, an ice cold beer on a hot day for any South African man. Okay, now what I do is this thicker part. You just carry on being it's much tougher than chocker. So it doesn't break up into pieces if you beat it too much. You can really soften this up. It will start flattening out. Guys, I first want to see how this I'm using a 4-0 ringed soy mustard. My favorite edible look. In fact, we're using them for sharks as well these days. There's a guy up to 11 -0. And that you'll put on like a blob bait, you zigzag it on. And if one's not enough, I'll add the second one, which I think I'm gonna do in any case. And you do that all the way to the section where you didn't beat it and that will keep it on nice and tight but before I'm gonna add that actually I want to put more put it over the shank onto the line now look at that little bait already and then we'll add the second one pushing we on spring tide at full moon today obviously the fishing will be better tomorrow and the day after normally that's the rule but uh, there's a bit of a ground swell so it's rough but there's nice working water in the back as I mentioned earlier so I'm going to put this on those banks not in the gully in the gully it will work as well even a, a 
muscle cracker will pick this up. A great bait for a muscle cracker, by the way. Uh, it makes me think, should I put it in the gully? Um, but that you just zigzag on. And this is so fresh, when that fish comes past, these tentacles are left will grab him by the cheeks and force him to swallow it. There's no way he's going to swim past. Da -da -da -da. La -la -la. And remember to collect octopus or to cut the tentacles off, like I suggested, you do need a bait collecting permit. Essential, guys. Now look at that. <laughs> Here we go. On that. <laughs>